On today's show, we will have an in-depth conversation with business icon and shark, Damon John, who shares his secrets for success in business and in life. Welcome to In the Spotlight. When it comes to success, there's no better person to learn from than our next guest. From his humble beginnings working at the Red Lobster while he was building his company, to becoming one of our most respected and successful business icons, Damon John shares his secrets for success in business and in life. Well, I'm so excited to be sitting here with the legendary Damon John. I want to mm -hmm. thank you so much. You're so busy for taking a couple minutes to talk to us. It's my pleasure. So I really thank appreciate you. it. Now you become, you really have become such a great mentor. And, uh, you know, I've seen the show. My son is a huge fan, huge fan uh, of yours. I love it. I love the little sharks out there. And he is like so committed to that show, which I love because I wasn't raised by an entrepreneur. I was mm -hmm. raised by two entertainers and was uh -huh. an actor when I was a kid. So to have that kind of leadership, I mean, that you're affecting them and them, they're learning about business yeah. is really, really powerful. Well, you know what, I would love to, I would love to take the credit for that and, and be very honest. It was ABC and Mark Burnett who had a vision to teach entrepreneurship. If, if somebody would have said to me 10 years ago, you can watch uh, a couple of you know, men and women talk about deals on, and, you know, on, the, on a show and it would be important and people would value it. I wouldn't believe it, but if you let Hollywood and a couple of the really amazing editors and filmers, you know, put it together and put it out in a way where it's entertaining as well as, you know, uh, informative, you know, 10 years ago, could I have ever seen people who are millionaires and billionaires in the room with the common day man and woman and what would they want to hear? You know, um, and I think that's the value, you know, when you sit home uh, on the couch, you go, that person's doing it, why can't I? Right. And and with your son, nothing, nothing, taking nothing away from the actors and the and the athletes of the world and things of that nature. I but I'm finding now that kids want to be sharks just as much as athletes and actors, and and that we're 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 honored to be part of that ecosystem. I think we both realize. I mean, I I did a series as a young kid, so I went in as a performer, but it's a business. Yes. And same thing with, as you know, any of your friends that are Hall of Famers and you know what happens, they are an athlete and then they have to learn how to run a business. So what you're teaching is so powerful because it doesn't matter if you become a professional athlete, yeah. actor, whatever, I mean, it is a business. And I think that's what's so I love about the show, but you're also doing it just in your own life, which is mentoring people and understanding you know, that they can learn about how to run a business. Absolutely, and I think that whether it's going to school for higher education, I see too many kids and people who say to me, well, a lot of entrepreneurs don't go to school or haven't gone to college, and, they, and I say, what? Well, but you don't understand. The, the fundamentals to business is business and finance and all these things such as marketing. There's a, there's a very, very uh, specific fundamental to operating and running a business, and you have to get an education in it. I didn't have financial intelligence, and I risked it all. It's a very slim chance that I got to this point in my life. Uh, and if I would have had to do it all over again, that's the only thing in life that I would have changed, is get a, get a better education, a formal education. And I wanted to ask you about that, because with what's happened in our economy, there's a lot of people that have gone through tragedy, whether they had a very successful sure. business that went from 30 million to 10 million, mm -hmm. or they were struggling to make 50,000 or 25,000, or you know they have a dream of something they want to do, and they're thinking, wow, could this really happen for me? Have you ever had a time where you were tempted to kind of give up on your dream? And if you did, how did you get through that? Uh, that's a very good question. Often I had that, that, that challenge, and I think that one of the most, in, in, the most important ingredients in, in being a successful entrepreneur is having a mentor mm -hmm. that really has no interest in your business um, and has been there. And that has proven to be way more successful, uh, you know, in regards to if you put 10 businesses in a room and the ones that are more successful, they, you generally find that there was some form of a mentor around or a mind trust. You know, people who have the same agenda as you do. And, you know, when I started my company, I have three other partners. Mm -hmm. And when I wanted to quit, they wouldn't let me quit and vice versa. And, you know, we ended up really you know, 10 years felt like two years when I created it. And I opened in 1989 and I failed and ran out of money and closed FUBU down three times until 1992. And I didn't really get out to, on a national stage till 1997. I thank you so much for saying that because I think so many people 
all over the world need to hear that. Yeah. And because it was you being persistent and not giving up on that dream that you Absolutely. had. Absolutely. And before that, I had three or four other businesses. I just didn't love the businesses. It was like a, you know, I had a little van service and this and that. I didn't love the business. But this business kept calling me back, as I said on stage, because I kept see, seeing people wear the product. And I would do anything to see somebody adorn their body in something that I made because it just made them feel special. And I kept opening the business. And, but I made my mistakes small, so I was able to close down for six months and open back up. But that's so powerful too because a lot of people end up maybe spending their life doing something they're not that passionate about, yeah. even in businesses. Sure. So I think that's such a great lesson. I love that you share that that le lesson, that gold, you know, wonderful rule of do what you love and the yeah. money will flow. Yeah. And you find that that is really, really true in the people that you know that are successful. It is, and I just have to find a better way of saying it because I sound like my grandfather now when people kind of let these really important sayings just wash by, ah, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Do what you love, you never work a day in your life, and all. And it's all crap as far as they're concerned. I mean, you but you better it's work, not, obviously. Yeah, absolutely work, but you will love doing it because, right. you know, the reality is our report card is not going to come back A all the time. But if you were doing a business that you loved and you were obsessed with and 10 years from now it didn't work, at least you had fun. Right. If you were doing something for money in a business that you hated but you were just like, that's the newest, hottest thing, your life is gone. That 10 years you can never get back, work or play. I try to get away from Kevin O'Leary all the time, <laughs> but he just sits right next to me. More with Damon on the power of influences. We'll be right back. Damon is transforming the lives for people of all ages on the Emmy Award winning show Shark Tank, as well as with his personal brand. So for more information about how Damon can support you with your business goals, go to DamonJohn.com. Thanks for watching in the spotlight.